All right, boys, today we're going to be talking about Jing Yuan, who is a character I've been very, very excited for. And he finally dropped. I wanted to drop this video a day early, actually on the day he dropped, like a few hours after he dropped. But I didn't want to uh, mess around with him a bit more, you know, test his numbers and everything, see some different teams, test some different stats, speed specifically. Um, so that's why the video is a little late. But without further ado, let's first talk about him. Then we're going to be talking about his free-to-play light cones and, well, whale light cones, I suppose, too. Um, his relic sets, which ones you can run, and then some team builds you can run with him as well. So first of all, let's talk about his skills. Uh, the way he works, if you don't know, if you've just pulled him, right, you don't, you're like, oh, he doesn't do any damage. The way he works is he has his big, big daddy, golden lord, Susano, whatever you want to call it, right? Now, this guy is all his damage. He is, all, like, like, all the damage you're going to be doing is going to be him, right? When you're in the match, um, you're going to see on the left, there's going to be a little golden lord that's on your team, but you can't, like, in, in individually buff him. The way you buff him is you buff Jing Yuan, okay? That's how it works. And Jing Yuan himself can buff him. You'll see a number on the golden lord. It'll always be at three at the start of the match, unless you use this, um, use this technique and you, you buff him up with this, boom, because then he gets three extra and he starts at six. But that's that's whatever, right? That's uh, the technique. What you want to do is you want to scale an ult. When you scale an ult with him, you increase his actions by 2 on the skill and 3 by, on his ultimate, right? Now he starts off at 3, I said, and the goal is to always get him above 6. Because when he's above 6, when we go to his traces, you have this trace unlocked, he gets 25% crit damage, which is very huge, right? Do good damage increase. And also, the more attack count you have, the more times he hits. Well, it's like he hits multiple times. And each of those hits also uh, reduce the toughness bar of the enemy. So it's not like using 1 skills, it's like using 6 basic attacks. Um... If you have six, right? Or like eight basic attacks. Like he breaks people very, very, very quickly, okay? Very, very quickly. An issue with him is that if you run attack on him, you can't skill twice before using him. And then let's do math. You have three plus two, that's five. You don't get six, right? So that's very, very unfortunate. But we'll get into the, the, the speed discussion in the, like when I get to his relics. But first, uh, let's talk about his uh, traces, which one you should prioritize. Obviously, it's going to be his talent. That's the one you want the most. Uh, and then the side ones are really good too. The basic attack, you don't have to level up at all. I, I, I shouldn't even click this. Um, his ultimate, I get you can like level up his ultimate skill. You don't need to. Like you actually, like the damage difference isn't going to be that insane. Again, they don't, they're not there for damage. So if you can first focus on just his talent and then getting the side ones, that's going to do you a lot more of a... Um, it's going to just be a lot better for you than if you were to just like level up these, right? Uh, which is why, because like this one gives you crit rate 4%, this one gives you crit rate 2.7%. It's nice, it adds up, right? And then this one is just attack, and then uh, like th th these are nice too though, right? These these are all nice, right? The attack ones. And then eventually we can get this one too, which will be very, very nice, right? Having crit rate innately on characters is very, very nice. And it's not like Genshin where they have like ascension stats or like the, the weapons, um, right? They don't have like stats on them, like the light cones, they just have basic stats. And then like his one specifically gives them crit damage. But for the most part, you can't expect the same ratios that you could in Genshin, if that's what you personally are comparing it to, right? We have to uh, dial down a lot of stuff. It's not the same, very much not the same. But traces, priority wise, talent, 100%. This one up here, you want to get it as high as possible. I am broke right now, so it's only a six. I will get it to seven soon and, and an eight uh, eventually. But again, you want to get this one up as much as you can. This is the one you want to focus on. And then again, the side ones are really good. This one's really nice. Um, this one obviously makes him hit a lot harder on six. This is the, the, your priority. This one you want to unlock. Uh, the one you need, I mean, you can check in games too, but it's, it's the dragon one, right? It's the dragon one. Okay, so let's now talk about his light cones. Now, uh, for his light cones, I'm actually going to go to the data bank and look at all light cones like this because it's prettier. So his best light cone obviously is going to be before dawn but this one you have to summon for and losing a 75 25 is going to hurt and also if you're free to play i feel like i i don't know how i would handle something on light cones because you don't get much value out of something on a bunch of them yeah you get a bunch of four stars but there's a lot of free ones in this game that are very good um that just like outdo a bunch of the summonable ones right now one of the free ones or the only free ones you can get for your edition is going to be the seriousness of breakfast so the way when i talk about this one i'm going to talk about it at s5 because you can get this to s5 quickly uh i don't think it tells you where you can get it in game but you can get it from uh, the forgotten halls and from the weekly bosses they both drop it well like in the the forgotten house shop and then the the weekly boss you can both you can get it from both of these places right and now this one is going to be pretty good um, it's not going to be the same as before dawn, right? Like nowhere near, nowhere near it. Um, but it is going to be very good. It's going to be a very good light cone. It's your best free to play option. If you have it as at S five, uh, it's better than any other um, 
like four star light cone you have now i can't compare like s3 and stuff right i feel like that's like hard to like calculate everything because i can only really look at s1 and s5 um i can imagine what s uh two three four is but when i talk about like comparison i'll usually just talk about s5 versus s1 um so again this one is going to be the highest damage because this is just so much damage in in one light cone for a four star the stats also like pretty decent so you get 24 percent damage and then you get 24 percent attack too because you will trigger this on the wave before the like enemy fight anyway right and there is no like um there's no like time limit on this right like you 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 kill three people in that fight and then boom like he is chilling he is chilling he's got this until the rest of the fight very very nice light cone very very nice light cone and again this is the only one you can get free to play now this is technically another one you can get free to play and at s5 this one is very very big damage for him um jingwan has 130 max energy i believe so this is a huge this is a huge huge damage buff right this is a 52 percent damage buff at s5 the thing is it's the battle pass one so you'll only have it as one so it's gonna be a 26 percent damage increase so for the time being this one is going to be a much much higher damage increase than uh, the battle pass one so you should not bother the battle pass one if you do want to commit the next five battle passes to this one be my guest I respect that. Uh, me personally, I'm going for uh, this one because I think it's really cool. Um, and I think Harmony just has a lot of cool things you can do with those characters. So I'm going for that one. But if you want to spend the five months, go ahead. This one's really good. Um, now, this one is not good. Uh, this one is not good because this is uh, it, it doesn't work with him, right? It gives him energy, which, you know, would make him sort of like get, get his like, lightning lord easier. But, in, but his ultimate damage, you don't care about, right? His ultimate, we, we already talked about it. Skills ultimate, we don't care about the damage. We don't, we do not care about the damage. Now, the birth of the self is going to be the um, best one, in my opinion, um, damage wise, that is four star. If you have it as S5. And as one, it's going to be uh, out damage by the breakfast uh, S5. But if you have this one built up already because you had like servo or something, then this one's really good too. If you have dupes of this one, this one is going to outperform the other one, right? Because first of all, increase the damage dealt by the worst follow-up attacks by 48%, okay? So this already alone is this, is this entire thing combined. Um, now, 48% damage increase is technically sort of, in a nutshell, isolated by itself. No other influence is better. 24% damage increase and 24% attack increase is better. Because going from 24 um, to 48 uh, is not the same increase as going from 24 and then going from 0 to 24 again on a different like type of increase, right? The way it works. Um, let's say you have 50% damage increase already, right? And then you, you add 24% to that. That's not that big of a difference, right? Go from 50 to 20, uh, from, uh, from 50 to 74, right? Same thing with this. You go from 50 to 98, right? So it wouldn't be that big of an increase, right? Um, like it would, it would like it would not even double it. But if you go to uh, this one, you get the twenty four percent increase, and then you also get the uh, oh that's the wrong one. Well, a matter though, uh, and then you get the twenty four percent attack increase, right? Which is a completely different source. Then that is going from zero to twenty four, and then from fifty to, to seventy four. It just adds up to be a lot more damage. Okay, I think I complicated a lot more than it should be. I think it's very obvious to most of you guys, but just because uh, some people might be confused. Again. Um, this one S5 is going to be a best one, but if you have like probably like S3 already, this will outperform it. Um, it is big damage, right? It's 48% damage, and then if they're um, if they're half HP, you do another extra 48%. This one, this one is going to do a lot of uh, damage compared to uh, the other one. Now this one is not good. It's not good. Um, like the, the the thing is, this is such a this is such a bad light cone. I feel so bad for Himiko, because it's just not good. Nine the Milky Way is not a good light cone because it, it the weakness break stuff. Okay, sure. You and then you do damage. Uh, you do more damage for one turn. This would be maybe good, sorta if we get a quantum character. I suppose not really. Then nah, not even then. I don't know. I don't know what they were cooking with this one. Again, I mean, if you have this one. I just still wouldn't use it. The, the breakfast one will just out damage it for Jingyi one specifically. Um, I don't know how it is with other ones. I just don't think it's good in general. Like, it's just not a good light cone in general. Like, whatsoever. Uh, so I wouldn't even, like, consider that one. When you, like, go into, uh, like, gearing up your Jingyi one. Um, but Before Dawn is going to be the best one by far. And then, um, that's pretty much it, right? Uh, Peaceful Day is really strong too at S5. It's going to out damage uh, both of these. 
because it's a 52% damage increase. And this one is going to be, be more damage if they have HP or below, which will occur often. So I think on average in a fight, you actually get more damage out of this one. Uh, stat wise, uh, this one is higher. I'm pretty sure yeah, this one has more stats. So I don't know how that like exactly uh, calculates into it. But breakfast, if you're free to play, get this to S5. It's going to outdo pretty much everything else um, that you can have. Because I don't think you have that. If you have that as five, you have that as five. If you have this one, you have this one. Okay, they're better, but that's really it. And then this one in five months, if you're committing, or in five battle passes, which is 10 months, I think. Yeah, if you're committing that much time to an A, go ahead, right? Then this one will be better. It still won't be better than his signature one, though. So, you know, something to think about. Now, let's talk about his relics. Uh, his relic sets, you can run two. Uh, because he's a DPS, you could just run the, um, the, uh, Musketeer one, which is good, right? It gives uh, it gives attack, it gives speed, which speed is very important. We'll talk about this. Um, but having lightning damage is like a, such a like unique source of damage that you can't amplify like elsewhere. So it's really good. And then when you use his scale, you get twenty percent attack, which outdoes this entire set already, um, pretty much. Okay, um, so it, it's good. It's very good, right? This one obviously works really well with him. But the issue is, um, you need speed on him. I'm not too sure how much speed. Uh, you need on him. I don't have enough speed. So I'm gonna show you guys an example of why you need speed um, If I take these boots into uh, forgotten halls right now, okay, it's gonna be 35 I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna start the turn right. He's gonna be at three stacks I'm going to skill My golden lord's gonna go up to five attack count and then I'm not gonna be able to do a skill again And then he attacks a five um, And then I'm missing out on a lot of damage because we didn't hit that sixth threshold. I was talking about earlier Okay, so that's a huge, that's a huge oof. That's why you want speed. Now, what I did is I just gave him my Vance boots. I was like, all right, boom, 25 speed on these, and that fixed the issue. Uh, so I don't know what the exact speed is. When you do get his Lightning Lord to five, um, he will have 110 speed, uh, technically, right? Because he starts at 60, um, and then uh, every... Um, Every uh, sp every every by every uh, blah, 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 attack count increase you have on him, his speed increases by ten. So he'll be at one ten. So maybe if you're just at one ten, that is enough. Again, I can't test this. I I I, I don't have speed gear like like sp speed subsets and other characters where I can like fine tune this. And there's also like little things that matter. Um, but just you want speed boots. They are going to give you an incredible damage increase over the attack one. Maybe not incredible. No, nah, they should. They should. Um, now obviously if you have Tingyun, you can manipulate its energy skill ultimate, right? Or like ultimate skill. Um, and then you're fine. And the way you want to play him too is we're going to go into uh, a fight in a second. You want to ult right after his lightning lord. His lightning lord does not recover his energy. His lightning lord does not recover his energy. So when you use him, um, you uh, don't, uh, when, you, when Lightning Lord hits and you have full ult gauge, that is fine. You want to wait until after Lightning Lord attacks, then you ult, and then you immediately have that 7, uh, or 6, and then you do your skill, you have 8, right? Very nice, it's very nice. Uh, but we're going to go into Forgotten Halls now. Um, I'm going to go into, uh, I think I'm going to go into this one, just to make it easier on myself. So we're going to pick him, right? Now, right now he has attack boost, okay? Um, right now he has attack boots. Now the, the team frame I'm gonna bring is this one and then just put March Jam, we're not gonna do the second fight. I'm gonna show you what happens when I'm on attack, right? Okay, small issue, the enemies are too weak. We're gonna do it in this one. Um, now in this one, it's kind of uh, annoying because it makes him move first, but it doesn't actually change anything right now. So again, he's on attack boots. Uh, we're gonna take him in and we're gonna do the like normal combo, right? Now, this is not actually the team I would use, by the way. I just, I don't know why I put this one. I, I wouldn't use Ved usually. I'd use the main character or Gepard once I get him up. But anyway, so what, what you wanna do on the first one, obviously, is right, you, you'll tap Ting and skill twice so you can get ultimate, right? I'll put down this field, whatever. And then we use, um, we use his stuff, okay? So he starts with more, right? So he starts with six immediately, okay? That's very important for your first like opener. It's very important, right? The opener is very different to the rest. Um, Right, uh, I'm not going to do much stuff with these guys now. Uh, you want to buff him up, right? And then uh, I'm going to ult him as well. All right, I want the first one to do big damage. And then you can ult with him immediately, immediately right? And you'll be at 9. Um, and then eventually, after, well, after this attack, boom, I'll be at 10. All right, that's max. Sort of, I, I'm not too sure if that's exactly what you want to do. Because you could just wait with the ultimate. But boom, now he attacks, right? My, uh, my guy is about to be attacked again. Uh, once we do this, so I, I attack with him, right? And now he moves after, okay? He moves after. He's 10 speed. He's 10 action uh, value behind, okay? Because he's on attack. Right now he's on attack, 
So he has 101 speed, I think mine has. Yeah, 101 speed. Right now he has 101 speed. Okay, so if I return and we do the same exact thing, but I switch his gear to uh, have the speed boots of my Welt because he's cooking, then what you'll see is we're going to go in front of the Lightning Lord, okay? Now, again, we have to do the whole shebang, so that's going to be kind of annoying. Um, also, the damage value is going to be different because it's offset, so we're missing out 20% of the uh, attack boost, but we don't care about the damage right now, right? Uh, we're all very mature individuals. We're not going to be like, ah, ha, he's only doing 30k on his Lightning Lord, lol. Um, so we're going to do the exact same thing, right? I'm going to slow with Welt. I'm going to double tap Ting Yuan, get his stuff up. We're going to attack. We're gonna do the same, exact, exact same thing, we're gonna get to 10 on the first one, and then we're gonna try and do two skills before the second one, right? Um, so, we'll do this, and then I'm gonna ult. Right, I'm gonna ult. I'm gonna skill as well, and then, um... What's gonna happen is, uh... I'm gonna buff him too. We do boom, boom. Now he moved earlier now, because he had more speed, but that, there you go, he attacks, right? She does her funny stuff, right? Don't kill anyone, please. That would be kind of, like, weird. Now, when I do the skill, you can see he moves up in front of him, right? Even if I, when I buff him, he'll be in front of him. Boom. Very important, because now, when I get to him again, um, uh, when I go to him again, and we, we do the funny stuff, boom. Now, he'll be at 7. And now, my next rotation, I can do skill, right? I'll do skill. Um, I'll move again in front of him. Now, this one, I think, is a Forgotten Halls, like, only. So, anyway, let's heal her just because, yeah, whatever. I'm going to use all the ultimates because that's just an animation time. That's, like, it's going to eat up stuff. I don't... Oh, I actually have to buff him here, though. Right? I'm going to wait. I'm not going to ult yet. Okay? Okay, well, the, the cycle's up. Okay, we're going to pretend this never happened. So, I'm just going to, like, basic attack. Uh, boom. Now he does this, and now I ult right after. He's immediately at 6. I skill, and then he's going to be at 8. Uh... And that's how you want to play him. That's why speed is so important. It makes him so much more smooth to use. Um, now, there is speed manipulators, right? There is speed manipulators. They can sort of fix this, but not consistently enough, right? When I talk about team building, which is the next part, I'm going to mention Asta. And she does do that, okay? Now, when we talk about teams, all right? Let's go to, I think, five has no team. Okay. You have Jingguan, okay? Now, you have many, many options you can run him with. Many, many options, okay? What I like to do is Tingyun. Tingyun works really well with him. Bronya, not so much. That's why Bronya is paired off Mazela. Bronya doesn't work well with him because her buff, um, when you use it, uh, the way it works is it buffs up the the, ne uh, the next action he does for one turn, right? So you're going to buff him. He's going to move immediately, which if you have that, you don't need speed on him. You can just run attack because uh, you, you'll be able to get the double skills, but it's still going to be clunky and it eats a lot more skill points. Um, so that's why, like, that's my whole issue with it, though. But... He's going to move again. He's going to get that huge increase, right? That huge damage increase from Bronya. But then when he uses his skill, right? That one turn expired. It was just for that one action. And then the Golden Lord doesn't benefit from this buff, right? Ting Yun buffs for three actions. Um, and that's going to be a 36% damage increase of, well, of her, like, uh, thingy. Um, and then more if you have, uh, like, her E4. Uh, where is it? Oh. If you have an E4, it's going to be more too. But uh, she's going to give you that for the next uh, thing. For the next, uh, what do you call it? The next, uh, like, three three attacks. So you're going to use skill. It's going to reduce one. But then Lightning Lord's going to hit. You're going to do skill, reduce one, Lightning Lord hits. Skill, reduce one, Lightning Lord hits. You refresh it. And that's how it works. Right? And then you're always going to have uh, enough skill points with her too. Because you're always going to do skill. And then three ba uh, skill, sorry. Skill. And then uh, I, I clicked this one, didn't I? Yeah, I meant this one. Uh, skill and then three basics. Um, skill, three basics, and it works really well, right? It's perfect. And her ultimate, also very, very nice. It lasts two turns, so it will always give you enough. You use your ultimate, it gets down, goes down to one. Lightning Lord attacks, then it's your turn, and you do your skill, and it's still there. Uh, it's very nice. I feel like she is perfectly made for him, which is why when you run her, um, Dance and Sand is going to be the best one still on her uh, overall. It's just, it's just so great for the entire team. But what you can run is like this one, is going to be the uh, planetary rendezvous, which upon damage, uh, upon battle entry, if an ally does the same damage type as the wearer, damage dealt increases by 18%, right? That's pretty cool, because they're both lightning, you'll do more damage. Uh, you can run the battle pass one too, I'm a fan of this one. Now obviously at S1, I feel like it's not that impressive, but um, if we look at it at S5, which I can't do here, I guess. 
Can you really not do it here? Can I do I actually have to go to the funny page? Uh, whatever. Uh, it does give you enough energy regener regeneration rate, so where it fixes his his, um, his issue, because uh, his ult is 130 cost, and you get 30, 30, 30 yeah, his skill gives you 30, right? It generates 30 points, uh, so you always be off. Uh, Tingyun obviously kind of fixes that, because she gives all the uh, skill that, um, she gives energy, and also if he gets hit, it kind of like remedies that, so you want to put him next to like a tank, so, uh, or like a Clara or something, the Gepper, someone that has a higher chance to get hit, so that he can like absorb the AoEs and everything, uh, so you can get more energy that way too, but uh, that is annoying, right, because you're always going to be 10 off, now if you have him, I think it's E6, is it E4? Oh yeah, it's E4, E4 makes it so his Lightning Lord uh, actually regenerates his ultimate, um, and then that fixes it completely, right? Because it, 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 he just has to do five hits. And you'll always have six plus. So it's fine. Um, but again, this was E4. I don't think uh, many people will have E4. So I don't, I like that's not really uh, important. Now you could give him energy regener uh, regeneration on his um, on his funny uh, thingy rope. On his link rope. Uh, like this. But I, I, I feel like that's just a waste. Like I feel like you just want damage on him, right? Um, now for his link rope, uh, I didn't talk about it. Which I oh well yeah, I didn't talk about. I'll have to edit. Like I'll I'll do timestamps. I guess um, for his link rope, if, the one you want to run if you go uh, you just like it it doesn't really matter. The damage difference is very minuscule, um, but you want to run either the spacing station or the uh, the insert Sasoto. Now this one is slightly more damage, um, but it is like it's it's not that like th that big of a difference, right? And then for um, for main stats, uh, on his chest piece, what you want to do is crit rate. Uh, I have crit damage because I am foolish, but you want to go crit rate. Uh, now you do get and you do get a bunch of crit rate, right? You you'll get I'll get this extra five point three percent, and then I'll get this extra ten percent from the other thing. So if I could have, uh, if I would have that, like let's say like fifteen percent extra crit rate, and I'd have I'd be close to fifty, it would be okay. But it's just um, you can do. The way you can calculate is 30% of the time I do 162% more damage, right? That's how you can count it, right? Now if I can get this to fit like uh, like 70, right? If I can double this, but I lose like not half of this, right? Like I lose 60 crit damage, but I double this, which would be the case if I change this, um, then I am doubling the amount of times I get the damage increase, but I'm not halving the amount of damage increase I get. So that's why like a 70, like 130 ratio or something is fine. And you can get that much higher too. Again, I have his, um, his, uh, like on, so it's like different, but, um, but yeah. Now back to teams, uh, Jing Yuan, the teams, we covered Ting Yun, which I think is his best support. So we're going to put, put Ting Yun on the team. I'm going to assume everyone at this point has, if you don't, uh, you can run Asta. Asta has the, the whole benefit of um, her ultimate increasing speed and her talent makes it so they get more uh, they get 35 percent more attack i mean obviously if you level this up it goes higher but like they get they get a bunch of speed and this lets uh, allows you to attack to run attack but it's still gonna be sort of like inconsistent um because they're always gonna have that speed buff but you're gonna do like you're gonna have the speed buff for long enough to do the two skills skill ultimate skill um all that stuff right so this could be kind of okay um and she does give him damage increase. If you have Asta built up, you can definitely run her with him. It will be fine. It will, she'll be great with him. Um, Ting Yun is just like actually made for him. Like she's so perfect for him the way she works. Uh, so we're going to put Ting Yun here. Now next, obviously a healer slash defensive unit. Okay, you don't need both for Forgotten Halls most of the time. Um, so just having only a Gepard, right? Or only a Natasha uh, is fine most of the time. Now Natasha kind of on the weaker side. So I wouldn't, I don't know if I just run her. But um, let's say Natasha, right? Let's say Natasha because she's a four star, okay? You run Natasha, you want to run a healer, and then you just run it. You can, like, because Natasha's weaker, you'll run the fireman character, right? This is a very simple team that I run for this team, for, like, my character in general. Uh, I think right now I'm using Veld over um, a Tingyun because I was testing some stuff with, like, outspeeding enemies and, like, two Lightning Lords before they can move, but that doesn't work, so it's what it is. Um, but this is the team I will I would use normally with my Jingyuan. Um... Now, what I want to do in the future, and what you could do, is I'm, I want to upgrade this guy to a uh, Gepard because he would fit better for this team. Um, and then instead of Natasha, I'd run Veld. Uh, I think this is the like team I'd want to run. 
But yeah, that, those are the teams, right? You just want to run a Harmony character with him. I think every Harmony, Harmony character is okay with him. I think Bronya, surprisingly, is the worst. You could also run uh, Pella. Pella doesn't work too well with him, though, from what I found. Um, now, one thing you could do if you want to run him in a sub DPS, right? So instead of Veld, uh, you could run Shushang if you have her idol on one, which makes it so she... Um, Recovers one skill point if she uses her skill against a broken enemy, which means her skill points pretty much her skill is pretty much free. And with Jing Yuan, they're gonna be broken a lot of times. Um, so that's gonna be good, right? She's great at breaking, he's great at breaking, it works well together. A little synergy you could do. Uh, but I hope this whole video uh, explained everything you need to know about him. Um, attack versus speed, free to play light cones, uh, his relics. Hey, relics are pretty like a basic, right? Um, his relic, like, again, it's, like, the, the basic stuff, because these are guaranteed, right? Uh, you want speed on his shoes, and then you want crit rate, preferably, on his chest piece with a bunch of crit damage in your other pieces. Or if you have really high crit rate, like, you have, like, all your pieces have 12% crit rate on them, then I suppose you could just go crit damage, right? And then you, you have planner, rope, everything, this has, like, a bunch of crit rate on it. Um, that's fine, too. But I feel like the, the rest of the race is really self-explanatory, so I don't want to talk about it too much. But, yeah, that is my guide. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you have, like, certain units and you want to build a team, uh, I can help you, maybe. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's it. Good job.